to all my fellow teachers. My name is Miss Christine, and if you're like me, you're always looking for new tools to help with challenging behaviors in the classroom. One of the best websites is the Pyramid Model Consortium page. On there, you can find some really helpful tools to assist young children with challenging behaviors. Now, today I am going to share with you the Tucker Turtle Techniques and there are four steps to that. So if you go onto that website and find the tools section, you will find tons of resources related to Tucker Turtle. The first one is going to be the Tucker Turtle takes time to tuck and think. This is a scripted story that you could read in your classroom. There's also a home version for this as well. The great thing about the Pyramid Model Consortium website is it gives you resources for school and for families. So for the classroom, I highly suggest printing the story out and binding it, laminating it, and putting it in your library so that children have access to it and that maybe you can read this to them as well. So after you've read the story and introduced Tucker to them, Tucker has four techniques to help him stay calm. Also on the website, you can print out this sheet. It's called the Tucker Turtle Technique. There are four steps, and these are the four steps to help calm ourselves down and come up with a solution. So, if you have a child in your classroom that typically likes to scream, yell, kick, whatever the behavior is, this is a great alternative to teach them how to control themselves, how to stop, take some breaths, and think of a more positive and safe solution. So go on and print this page out. You can cut them out and laminate them and make a wristlet out of it, or you can keep it just like this and posted in one of your areas in your classroom. Maybe you have a quiet or calm down space, and this is a great place to post it. Okay, so as a teacher, we want to go over some of the teaching techniques that you should follow when you're teaching the turtle techniques. Step one, you want to remain calm. As the teacher, it is your job to make sure that your environment is safe at all times. And one way to do that is to remain calm yourself. You want to model that behavior so that the children can also try to model it. Next, teach the children the steps on how to control feelings and calm down. You want them to think like a turtle. So here are the four steps to follow. Step one, help them recognize their feelings. Step two, stop your body. Step three, tuck inside your shell and take three deep breaths. Step four, come out when you are calm and think of a solution. So these are the four steps that you want to practice with your children. You also want to do this frequently. As the teacher, you also want to prepare for and help children handle possible disappointments and changes. You want to remind them to think and tuck like turtle when they feel angry or mad. Another important teaching tip is to recognize and comment positively when the child stays calm. And the last teacher tip for the turtle technique is involving families by providing them with some ideas on how they can use these techniques at home. All of these teacher tips and resources can be found again on the Pyramid Model Consortium website. Stay tuned for the next video on helping children come up with solutions.